What up, folks? Day two over here at the Great American Outdoor Show. Me and the man, Brett Smith, we out here uh, day one. We got here a little later, you know, but we got a chance to go and talk to some of our, I ain't gonna say official partners, people that I've been working with in the past, and today we're here. We're gonna run and gun through here and hopefully we can build some partnerships with different people. Introduce what we're about, what we're trying to do, and uh, Brett, you're gonna explain his ideas, what we plan on doing, who we plan on talking to. Yeah, day one, I mean, day one was good. We had a podcast with Exodus Trail Cameras, uh, talked with PSE a little bit, Lone Wolf Custom Gear, we went out to eat with them, so it was a good start to day one. Today, now we're gonna try and hit up a couple other companies and at least just hopefully get some talks started. We've done some emailing back and forth and stuff like that, but stopping by Maven, and we've got a couple other people on the list, so stick with us and uh, we'll see how the day goes. Size five. Like, you can get an idea. Yeah, so feel that. I mean, that's way freaking And that's the thing, especially when. That's not sweating hanging this in the tree. That's the thing, one hand in it when you're trying to when you're trying to hang it, that's a big deal. Yeah, with that maximum, I'll be up there sweat hanging on this shit. Yeah, I told you, I don't use a strap. I'm just holding on shit. This is the 1.0 or the <laughs> training session. This is the 1.0. This is the 1.0. The new one's smaller, and but this I mean. Is seven pounds? But, but so what's the weight of the yeah, new one? Yeah, this one's eight pounds. But I mean, stand on that, man. There's no there's, there's, oh shit. Don't trip on the cable. Yeah. And it's only a pound. And a half, you know, so it's like, yeah. How much higher does the uh, full stick step up? So both, the full sticks are going to come up, like, well, they're going to come up a little higher and they're going to go a little lower. Or you can bring them all the way off the bottom and then fold the seats off. So that's why people like the compact ones more. They're a little bit more low profile. So now you got that I like getting higher. I like going way up. You like to post a little bit deeper or a little bit more shallow. Just put it wherever you want and lock it in good tight. Okay. And then here is the sensitivity. That's right, just turn that in. And this is the weight, you want to turn up the weight once you get to where you like it, you can crank up the weight. There's a lanyard hole. Yeah, you can put it on your wrist until you get used to it. It's okay. How's training going? Going good. I had a good, my, what, second to last spar today was great. I don't think I really got hit. Got my takedowns, my jiu-jitsu going well. I just, uh, just so you, that man, Danny, do we have do we have <laughs> lanyards? It's it's good and solid. It breaks over clean. Um. What's it like hunting in Jersey? Because we we kind of see like both sides of the spectrum. We talk to guys that are killing like really really big deer in Jersey, and then you talk to other guys. It's like everything's completely overrun with people. Pressure is absolutely insane. Whether you're on private or public, you got to worry about people stealing all your cameras, your tree stands. Like, what, what are you experiencing? I mean, and actually, and all I'm growing up and seeing it, it's kind of like that's all they know. Like, to me, it's an instinct just to work hard because that's all I saw from my father. Same thing I'm implementing for my son. I make my son watch, not make him, but he sit and watch playing with me. He see me train every day, and as he get older, he's going to know. That's just what I grew up doing. That's what my father taught me. So a lot of things my wife asked me, why do you do it? <laughs> the answer really is just, just what my family did our whole life. It's just who I am. But I enjoyed the hell out of it because that whole time I seen the squirrels, I seen the way different birds and stuff act. I never been to Canada to see a moose. I mean, that was scary because it was dark and you just see a big black hole. You think the world comes to you, and also it's like poof, these things pop out. It's like yo, it's a moose. Like it's a moose. It's a piece of something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, <laughs> turkeys. Yeah. I did turkey last year at the boat. It was hard. That was my first time. And again, self-taught, studying YouTube and all that, and I shot one. There's blood on my arrow, just never found it. Yeah, it's not with the bow. Especially with the bow. Like, but there's still there's something to be said about just shooting with the gun. That's I, a different Oh my god. And I'm some, not this guy with some turkey. Yeah, this is something about shooting. You, you took the words out of my mouth. I thought like everybody tell me like, bro, I'm telling you, it's your first time. You better get a gun. No, this is a this is a three hundred blackout. Okay. Oh, it's got shit. a ten inch barrel, but they were stacking bodies out to two hundred yards with it like it was cool this year, man. And I would keep that in the tree stand down in Texas, so I'd be a full draw, yeah. kill a pig, kill a yeah, doe. Yeah, yeah. And then anybody that tried to flee the scene, I just grabbed that on a sling and start, you know, start lighting them up. But uh, let me so, see that thing. So the the suppressor is great too for the kids because they'll shoot it and it doesn't hurt their ears and they don't have to wear ear you know? And it's a 300. 300 blackout. Yep. Well, I got here yesterday late, so we got around and met people I already knew. I hung out with those guys. Uh, I linked up with my our cousin-in-law, Cody DeCristo, when I did it with him. Today we're going to spend time walking around, meeting more people, talking. Nice. How long are you here for this week? Just today. Yeah, I'm in fight for this thing. So, depends on what your setup is. So the cover, the heavy-duty cover, is it a 
Yeah. What truck? What truck do you have? Uh, I got a 2013 Ford F-150. You got that 5.5. Five, five, yeah. Small bed, yep. He became a millionaire off that. Yeah. I was like, oh, I matched your bed for 40000 And everybody starts on 40000 and 40000 They get the guys from Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And for you, know, like a $2,000 pot. And he's doing like a little underground juice turn. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, day two here at Great American Outdoor Show. Wrapping things up. It was a uh, it was a good trade show. We uh we stopped by some people that we planned on talking to, made some new relationships. There's some there's some big things going for the future, so I'm pretty stoked about it. Short and sweet day or a short and sweet trip. Not less than 12 hours total, but we got a lot done in those hours. You know, sit down with Cody DeQuisto and those guys from Lone Wolf at dinner and actually rap about the business for a while and what we're trying to do with them and what they would like to do with us. Do the podcast for Exodus, work out a deal with Exodus. Um, and today, getting here, and we went around. I was talking to PSC, getting guys set up here. Diamondback truck cover, so we can make some work with them. They're gonna send us that product and get to use that. Um, meeting Kip Campbell finally, and working with Red Arrow TV. That was cool. That's that. That was really dope. That he was told cool. me I'm a fan, and uh, you guys wanna use the rifle? Let me know, and we get one built for you and sent out. And hopefully, we can get a show or something together. Work with Maven, talk to Maven, and get that ball rolling. You know, we got a lot of things going, and also got to see some other ideas. Some shit that's not gonna be parking. Excuse me, some stuff is not gonna be parking. <laughs> but uh, you know, like the truck, the truck trailer or the pull behind and stuff like that. Get some ATVs and stuff later on in the future. And with the Diamondback coverage, you know, we can put the ATVs or new e-bikes or something on it. There's a lot of options going on here. You know, the Cobra R2 we made that happen yesterday. I built that relationship up over the year, and uh, we can make all this happen together and put it together. Let's have an awesome team that we can grow with for a while that started right here close to Jersey, small town in PA, and uh, have great things happen for us. Definitely a good start, can't complain. Big things on the horizon, guys. Yes, sir.